टुडे वी विल सी सम मिसकंसेप्शंस एंड कॉमन एरर्स रिलेटेड टू द एस ए एस क्राइटेरियन ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेंस ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स मिसकंसेप्शन वन व्हिच पेयर ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट अंडर एस ए एस क्राइटेरियन ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेंस सम चिल्ड्रन मे नॉट गेट द राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एस ए एस क्राइटेरिया Children see that both the triangles of the first figure have two sides equal and one angle equal. Similarly, the second figure also has two sides and one angle equal. Therefore, they think that the triangles shown in both the shapes are congruent under the S A S criteria. So they select option two, but this is an incorrect answer. Keep in mind. that the two congruent sides in the two triangles must be equal and the angle between them must also be equal only then we can say that those two triangles are congruent the corresponding arms in the first figure are equal but no information is given about the angle between them in this figure angle b and angle y are equal but they are not the angle between the two corresponding sides therefore the sas criteria cannot be used here therefore we can say that whether the two triangles shown in the first figure are congruent or not the two corresponding sides of the triangles shown in the second figure and the angle between them are equal so both these triangles are congruent under the sas criteria Hence the correct answer is option 1 Misconception 2 In the triangle ABC and triangle PQR shown AB is equal to PR BC is equal to PQ and angle B is equal to angle P Then which of the following statements is true Children see that the two triangles have corresponding sides and the angle between them equal so they think that the given triangle is congruent with the sas congruency criteria but they don't correctly name the triangles as per the criteria of congruency children find it easy to write the name of the triangle in the alphabetical order of the letters of english so they show the congruency of these two triangles by writing triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr in this way but this is a wrong answer here the children have not taken care of the correspondence hence option 1 is a wrong answer the correct understanding is that both the triangles are congruent only when the b is at the p the a at the r and the c at the q as given in the question that in triangle abc and triangle pqr ab is equal to pr bc is equal to pq and angle b is equal to angle p this correspondence can be established b is equal to p a is equal to r and c is equal to q the relation of the congruency of the triangles is indicated by taking the correspondence into consideration like here we can write triangle cab is congruent to triangle qrp so the correct answer here is option 2 keeping in mind the correspondence we regard the congruency as triangle bac is congruent to triangle prq triangle abc is congruent to rpq triangle bca is congruent to triangle pqr or any other way let's see a common error if children are asked whether the following triangle is congruent or not then children see that both triangles look alike so they give the answer yes but it is wrong to do so in geometry a concept is clarified not on the basis of recognition but on the basis of true facts the two triangles are definitely visible here but we have no proper facts 
to explain that they are congruent. Therefore, we can't say here whether the two triangles are congruent or not. Yes, if we were given that the corresponding sides and angles between the two triangles are equal, then we could say under the SAS criteria that both the triangles are congruent. So keep in mind that always use logic in geometry, not the recognition or perception. Today we have seen some misconceptions and common errors related to the SAS criterion for congruence of triangles.